Hey, look who's here. Hey, me and Matt. Hey, me and Matt here. 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 Hey, me and Matt. Amy and Matt here, Miss Killer Kano. It's a NXT TakeOver 25 post show yep. video. This is, Matt and I do wheels for you, this is more than likely going to go on Matt's own separate channel. But yeah, we just finished watching it and damn what a show. Yeah, I figured since he did the review on your channel, or the prediction show, we could do this so I mean yeah we just finished watching it and yeah holy shit man mm -hmm. like NXT delivers and like I said before WWE has lacked a lot lately mm -hmm. with their ideas and whatever but NXT always seems to be the best show there is and NXT TakeOver was no exception so mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do a little things a little bit differently, but yeah, basically we're going to talk about what happened, we just finished watching it, so, yeah. Do this now, we're still pretty fresh in our minds. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason. I don't know if we're going to start an order, it may be a little ball. Well, pretty much the order you have it on the computer here is pretty much the order the show went. So. Oh yeah, that's right. So we started off the night with Roderick Strong against Matt Riddle. Very good match. Those oh, two put on a hell of a match. The striking of both Strong and Riddle and Strong working over Riddle's back and just those two guys are probably two of the hardest hitting guys in NXT right now. Yeah. You could probably throw Oni Larkin and Danny Burch in that category. Even maybe... I can't think of one off the top of my head right now, but... Yeah, definitely two hard hitting guys and there was a few times where Matt Riddle attempted his bro mission yeah. and he couldn't quite get it because of his lower back being injured but he ended up picking up the win using a tombstone it's kind of a variation of a tombstone and the styles class yeah for sure yeah but yeah matt riddle won i thought that was pretty cool and well his patented knee strike mm -hmm. and yeah there was a point where he got thrown onto the apron mm -hmm. and it had the big welt on his back oh yeah fuck but yeah so that was a pretty good match and i think that i said to kyle i don't know if this was his first or second win on nxt takeover but i think this was pretty cool yeah, very much so. Then we had what we both agreed was the match of the night, even before it started. Got Red Dragon versus Oni Larkin and... Um, Oni Larkin, Danny Birch. The Sweet Prophets. Sweet Prophets and... Jay Cutler and Wesley Blake of the Forgotten Sons. Yeah. And a four way ladder match to crown new NXT mm. Take Team Champions. And boy, did these guys ever beat the tar out of each Jesus. other. Jesus. You know, it's great because the ladder matches are always awesome. And Take Team ladder matches 
always deliver it, and the moves that they brought out, and then, you know, so you have, I can't remember, one of the Street Profits, mm -hmm. he goes up on the turnbuckle, and there comes Gunner, or Jackson Riker, Jackson Riker and he gets into the ring. And, and just way least the shit out of everybody. Oh yeah. But then of course, they gang up on him and all six guys are just slamming the ladder. Just Oh yeah, it. they come in and you know, swinging the fist and stomping and kicking and they grab a ladder and just slam it on him a bunch of times and then they throw him out of the ring and he's getting up and friggin' Montez Ford goes for a dive over the top rope and yeah. I'll tell you, he's fucking lucky he didn't end up going kersplat on the floor. He managed to hit Riker, but he wasn't far from messing and then yeah. he's getting up again and Oni Larkin kind of does a, a splash thing over the top rope and then all three members of the Forgotten Sons get taken out, and during the match, it seemed to be the team that got the most abuse was Kyle and Bobby. Oh, yeah. I mean, at one point, they showed Kyle's back, and it was just red and swollen and scraped and he took quite a few bumps on a ladder and they all did and but then of course i mean you got the closing moment where yeah both wesley blake and wesley jay blake. cutler are in the ring one's holding the ladder the other one is climbing the ladder then you got angelo dawkins spearing i think it was cutler yeah and then you got Montez Ford doing this insane springboard leap, landing on the ladder, right basically in the face of Wesley Blake. Slugs him, he goes tumbling to the canvas, your brand new NXT Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits. Oh, and there were people throwing cups. Oh, and people were going bonkers, man. And yeah, it was amazing, and that's, you know, well-deserved. These guys have been in the company now for a year, or two years at least, so they deserve it. And one thing that they said that I found really interesting was this TakeOver event was the Street Profits' very first NXT TakeOver event, participating in it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And when I heard that, I was like, mm, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know either. Like, I... But then it's like, eh, projections are already out there. Stick with our pick, and yeah. lo and behold, it happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. We'll see where that goes, you know. Yeah. I think it's pretty obvious that this episode coming up is going to be amazing, so... And I mean, with... As hot as the Street Profits have been, and as en fuego, as Mario Ronaldo would say, the crowd has been behind these guys. I think it's fitting that they are the new NXT Tag Team yeah, Champions. for sure. So then we go on to the, what the crowd called... Gorgeous. <laughs> At one point, Morrow goes, Oh, the crowd's chanting, This is gorgeous. Yes. Which absolutely was wrong. <laughs> what they were saying was, Breeze is gorgeous, and they're chanting for the Velveteen Dream. Oh. It was a back and forth chant. Yeah, okay. And this match, I tell you, they went all out, mm -hmm. and even though Tyler Breeze hasn't competed in. I don't know how long. Mm. He seems to have upped his style and become more aggressive. Okay. Like, he still got the supermodel kick. He still got the beauty shot. He still got that aspect of his in-ring style, but 
he, at one point, he was just stomping the crap out of Dream in the corner and just getting physical and aggressive. And then, of course, Velveteen ends up upping his aggression yeah. to equal Breeze. And they were just amazing in the ring together. And at one point, Velveteen Dream grabbed the North American Championship and Tyler Breeze's cell yeah. phone. And he's like holding it up and like taking a selfie and talking and then he goes over to Tyler Breeze who was laying on the announce table after Velveteen Dream used Tyler Breeze's head as a basketball about 10 times. And he's like, hey, you want a selfie? Here's your selfie for you. And look up at the camera and all this other stuff. And the North American Championship is on the announce table. They get in the ring. They're still going back and forth, and at one point, Velveteen Dream was outside of the ring, or they both were, and then Breeze ended up back in the ring, and you didn't see it, but Velveteen Dream grabbed the title off the announce table, looked like it was going to be the old cheap shot trick, Yeah. and Tyler Breeze manages to rip the title from Dream's hands and the referee sees it's like, no, you can't use that, it's an illegal object or whatever. Yeah. And so Breeze tosses the title to the referee, Breeze turns around and bringing Dream Valley Driver, Purple Rainmaker, there's your still NXT North American Champion, the Velveteen Dream. Yep, very good. Yeah, this was awesome, and I know they're gonna probably continue, but what was really cool was at the end of the match, you know, we have both the team Dream has a cell phone, and, you know, he's looking at Tyler Breeze, and eventually, Tyler Breeze takes the phone and they do a selfie. Well, I mean, both the has the title on him, so. Mm. Yeah. They're both in the ring, Tyler gets up and Velveteen Dreams, you know, stuck in the NXT, stay in the North American title in his face, I beat you, all this other stuff, and you know, showboat and the whole nine yards, and then Dream goes to walk away and Breeze pushes him back, they're looking at each other in the face, and of course, as Dream has the championship, he's also got Breeze's cell phone, and then he's like, this North American championship is mine, but the cell phone is yours, yeah. and then the whole Dream goes to walk away, Breeze pulls him back, and like, alright, so here's your selfie you wanted, and then... Yeah. Mutual respect. But I don't think it's over. Like, Not likely. No, and I hope they continue feuding. And then we talked about this before, and it's like, wrestlers coming back, and they instantly get a shot at the title. Yeah. And it's like, well, they need to wait. They should wait for a while, but it doesn't happen. I think that they made a good call, and maybe at the next pay-per-view, have Tyler Breeze go over, like I said. Maybe in NXT Toronto. I don't know. Unless this was... A passing of the torch, if you will, the NXT OG to the young stallion, the new guy, and the more flamboyant, over the top, all eagle, no disrespect to uh, Ethan Page, Velveteen Dream, and maybe. It, it'll be a one-and-done deal for Tyler Breeze. I don't know, but we'll see what happens in the yeah. future. I'm not quite sure, but... So I have the NXT Women's Championship. We got Shayna Baszler versus Io Shirai. The genius of the sky. And it's like you saw Jasmine Duke and Marina Schaefer coming out backstage with Shayna and you think oh they're gonna stick around but yeah. you know it was a one-on-one -on -one match. Yeah. Three of them are walking backstage and 
They all three stop. Sheena kind of high fives. Marina gives a fist bump to Justin Duke and walks out on her own. And this match uh, was insane. Amazing. I can't believe how good Shayna is in the ring. Oh, yeah. I can't. Well, I can believe how good Io Shirai is in the ring. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But, I mean, two different styles. Mm -hmm. And they matched really well. And, you know, you thought that Hilo was gonna, she was getting this close to oh, take yeah. the title like everyone else. But, yeah. yeah, basically, you know, she got suckered into the care through the clutch. And, yeah, that was a close call, but she basically ended up tapping out, fortunately. Yeah, this match was a very good match, back and forth. Physical, aggressive, hard-hitting. At one point, Sheena stomped on Eel's arm and... Yes. You know, Eel was working over Sheena's leg and... Sheena was bending the hands. You know, they were just going all yeah. in war. And at one point, both Jessamine and Marina came walking out to the ring. Here comes Candace the Ray running up behind him with a candlestick and boy she did heal proud just yeah, right she in for just the fences. Yes, right out of him. Oh yeah, man. And so I mean after their match, you know, Shayna celebrates. She's on the top rope and here's Eo coming up behind her with a candlestick and she's just whipping the piss right out of Shayna. Oh yeah. And kicking her and you know, just yeah, fucking her right up. And she's on the canvas, and Eo goes up in the corner, oh, yeah. moonsault, and then she's like, Ah, oh, no, no, I'm not done yet. Goes up for a moonsault again, but before she does it, she's hollering something to Candace. Candace goes under the ring, grabs a steel chair, and oh, was that ever something oh, to see? Yeah. Moon Soul with the steel chair, start midsection to midsection, and never seen Shayna that beat up before. No. So this fear's not over. I said that's mad. This rivalry's not no. done. After a beating like that, but what more can they do? Like they can have false count anywhere. They can have no holds barred. I don't know what more they can do, man. Oh, I know, I know. But I know this fear's not over. No. So. It's going to be awesome to see what's going to happen next. Your final match of the night, the main event for the NXT Championship. The NXT Champion, Johnny Gargano, being challenged by... Adam Cole, baby! There you go. And if the four-way... Tag team match, tag team ladder match for the NXT Tag Team Championships was match of the night. This match easily stole the show. Oh god, yeah. This match lived up to the two out of three falls match in New York. These guys mm. pulled out all the stops. They put on a hell of a show. It, anything and everything from friggin' Gargano Escape, and Panama Sunrise, and Super Kicks, uh, and... Suicida. Yeah, no, so, yeah, Adam Cole is gonna take a steel chair and go to the ring. And the referee's like, no, I'm the ref, you take that away. Just then, you get fucking Johnny Gargano down in the Tope Suicida. And look, he's trying to hit Cole, but he gets Cole pulled on the yeah. chair, and... Referee gets clobbered and yeah, and then you get the Panama Sunrise and yeah, you know and there was a point where Johnny was gonna do the tope again but got kicked in the face. Yep. And yeah, there was, this was an amazing match. Obviously, Johnny's knee was bothering him and oh yeah, Johnny's knee was bothering him. Him. Adam's arm was bothering him. There was one point Adam did the. Panama Sunrise off the apron to Johnny on the floor. Oh, and yeah, Johnny got knocked out. Oh, was... yeah, these guys brutalized each other, so, beat each other up. Yeah, so 
you know, Johnny did a fake out where, you know, Adam drags him in the ring and then gets the ref. And just as the ref is coming in, yep, boom. The fucking Johnny Gargano lock. Yeah. Like, Johnny was on his knees in the ring and Adam was going to go for the last shot and Johnny falls forward and it's like, oh, Johnny's done. Yeah. Like, Adam packs him up and he's like, your title reign is done, I'm finishing this, and all this other stuff. They go back and forth, and it ends up being Super Kick, Panama City Sunrise, and your new NXT champion is Adam Cole, baby! Oh yeah. And you know, as disappointing as it was seeing Johnny lose, Bank obstacle, man. I got it. Oh, God, yeah. And I mean, it's finally happened. It reminds me of, and I said this probably at the takeover prediction thing that we did. Mm -hmm. When you had Adam Cole in Ring of Honor, he was a triple crown champion, winning the take team championships with Roderick Strong, going to get the television championship. And finally getting the Ring of Honor Championship. So, mm -hmm. this is kind of like the same thing, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. But, of course, you got Undisputed Era coming out to celebrate. And he was in an arm slang. So, Bobby Fish. Uh, yeah. So, Bobby Fish, I guess, is re-injured. So, I don't know how that's going to work out. Yeah, we'll probably find out... The coming week on NXT TV, the severity of Bobby's injury, whether it was like he was just in a ring for like precautionary measures or whether like, you know, dislocated shoulder or, you know, injured elbow or whatever the case may be. But yeah, there it is. Yeah, I mean, so that was awesome. And. I can't wait to talk about other stuff, like uh, the new pay-per-views coming up. Mm -hmm. We got the Super Showdown, but we'll talk about that regardless of controversy. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, this is going to be my own personal video, even though we did it a la Wheels of Fury style. Yeah. But we will be back next week. We will talk about... Super Showdown, and yeah, so, and Matt and Kyle, that sounded weird, we will talk to you soon. Bye.